Hi, I'm Margo St. James. I live in San Francisco and I'm an activist uh, of sorts. I was uh, arrested for prostitution in 61 or 2 and uh, got a reversal in, in a higher court but still had the label. So now in 73, uh, I find I'm still unemployable. So I started an action group called Coyote and it's a political type organization, much like Common Cause, where uh, anyone can belong, and uh, it's supported by donations from the public. We have a couple of events a year, a convention and a masquerade ball. We have uh, buttons and t-shirts and things like that, like any other women's group, that, to sell and raise money with. The uh, actual purpose is to decriminalize prostitution and to organize the prostitutes themselves, at least in a quasi-craft guild type thing, so that they can uh, get redress for their, the invasion of their civil liberties. Th at the present time, in most states, uh, women will do anywhere from five days to uh, six months for the crime of uh, soliciting, whereas men are not arrested for the same act. It's uh, an extremely sexist uh, application of a bad law. It's, uh, the law itself is sexist and stigmatizes women's sexuality. Our aim in Coyote has been to push for the decriminalization rather than the legalization because we want to get rid of the middlemen. Even in a so-called legalized form like they have in Nevada, the landlord makes the most money. He, the women get about 30 to 40 percent at the most. And uh, in the illegal form, as in California massage parlors and nude encounter parlors, the women again only get about 30, 35 percent. Total decriminalization would allow for uh, the free enterprise system to work in that profession. And it would also guarantee that the women uh, receive the optimum amount of money. Prostitution has been harder to sell to women than abortion was because few of them are directly affected. As with abortion, everyone's affected. The, uh, there are, and there are a few feminists who claim that prostitution is the ultimate in exploitation. But I think we have to look at, separate the job from the personal life in the case of the prostitute. She's got a job that pays her a dollar a minute and uh, she owns her own body and she's capitalizing on it yet she's called an outlaw. The feminists who continue to regard her as a sex object are going to say she's being exploited because sex is the ultimate in uh, exploitation of women. Well, that's true if the women aren't getting paid, but in this case, it's a dialectic. In the personal life of a prostitute, uh, they're as romantically oppressed as any other women, perhaps more so. Uh, they're more dependent on a man because uh, of their ostracism ostracization by the community. The uh, women who do become politicalized and are prostitutes uh, are, are very strong and outspoken and uh, have uh, stepped out in public and, and uh, voiced their criticism of the unjust system. I hope to uh, organize these women to the point where we can make the women's movement completely successful and where we can take over the leadership of this country. The United States is the, is the only totally prohibitionist country in the world, and most of the other countries uh, decriminalize in 55 per recommendation of the United Nations. The, uh, this is the only country in, the, in the, co the world, even though other countries regard it as illegal, they don't do anything about it. And this, this country is really brutish, and it puts women in jail and incarcerates them, turns them into criminals. And, uh, uh, and what that is, is an object lesson to all other women that they better mind the P's and Q's and better stick with the accepted roles in uh, our sexist society.